Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my Visual Basic tutorial series. Uh, this is video two. I'm talking uh, about variables and possibly a little, uh, a couple of message boxes as well, a couple of features of message boxes uh, in this particular video. Uh, carrying on from the first one, uh, as you can see, I've got my form loaded. Uh, I'm not going to use the majority of this form, but um, just keep the text box there and keep a singular button there as well, I think. Uh, so I'm just going to delete the button from there. Uh, one thing you notice, if you delete the button from the form, the uh, code for the form still uh, remains there. So, you know, if, you, if you're not going to use it again, you, it's just, you know, it's good practice to delete it and uh, keep it deleted. So I'm just going to clear what's in between the subs. Um, uh, oh yeah, I'll talk about subs a little bit then, I guess. Um, each sub is started with either private sub or public sub. Um, there are others, but those are the main two and it will give you a brief description basically of uh, what it does and it, what it handles uh, specifically this one handles for example button1.click um, and anything that happens inside of here so all of that uh, will be handled when the button is clicked um, the end of it is of course denoted by end sub uh, so anything outside of that won't happen when that sub's clicked um, if uh, as I said on the last video I'm gonna go through this as if it's sort of your very first one um, sorry, it's it sort of like a completely beginner's tutorial, rather. Um, so yeah, if I'm going a little bit slow, do forgive me. Um, let's get into it, I guess. Uh, as I said, I'm going to talk about variables today, and uh, what they can do, and um, how to use them, basically. Uh, variables are the sort of, they're very, they're the possibly the most useful thing uh, in any coding language, really. Um, Variables are—I don't really know how to describe them. It's quite bad. It's um, it's like, well, it's it's a variable. I, I it's sort of self-explanatory, really. Uh, it's a string of data that's varying depending upon what you put in it. Uh, anyway, um, but let's get on to sort of using them. I guess I, I, it's probably easier if I show you how to use them, and then uh, uh, we can take it from there. So um, I'm going to type in dim, d-i-m, and as you can see it pops up on the dim statement and what this does it declares it's basically a declaration of um, what dim is basically saying declare so whenever I say dim sort of envisage it as declare so declare and then um, well, what are we going to call it? we're going to call it um, variable one as uh, and now you've got basically two options you can well there are hundreds but the main two are integers and strings. Strings can hold, um, well, it can hold, uh, I want to say string, I can't really describe it with a string with a string, can I? Uh, strings hold letters, basically, characters is a better way to, to put it. So, um, and, and integers uh, can only hold numbers. So, I'm going to declare this one as a string, not strub, string dim variable one as string and I'm going to set it equal to quotes um, hello world again um, using quotes um, quotes will display anything I think I went through this last one quotes will display anything inside of it if it's a, uh, a if you're using if you're trying to you know declare a string as something you have to use quotes uh, otherwise it will just give you an error uh, also just notice where I have declared it actually um, you'll see that it's not inside this sub; it is inside the public class. Uh, so it's it's basically it's, well, this is known as a global variable uh, because this will this can be used in any sub that you can you know that you can that you can get. Um, actually, I'll, I'll just show you that. I'm going to put another button on here. Uh, so we've now got two buttons. So let's click on the button two. All right. So in here, uh, this is button one, by the way, which is display text. Uh, there goes my iPod. Sorry, um, I'm gonna type in text box one dot text. Uh, so if you remember from the last video, this is referring to text box one, and then the text within that is equal to variable one. Okay. Uh, so if you remember last time, I set it equal to hello world. So basically, I typed in quotation hello world. And that outputted hello world. However, okay, if uh, if I type it to uh, variable one, uh, which is the name which I gave to this string variable earlier, uh, 
it will it will display basically the same. Uh, and I'm I'm just going to copy that. Actually, I'm, I want to type it again. Uh, text box one dot text is equal to variable one. Okay, so we've now got um, two which should say pretty much the same. Uh, so sorry, the two um, buttons which display the same text. Uh, if I run this program, remember from the debug uh, F5, if you want a short key for it. Uh, if you press display text, it will display hello world. Uh, I'm just going to delete that. And if you press button two, it'll also display hello world. Uh, what I'll get onto now is um, instead of a global variable, variable, we're going to declare it as a local variable. So I, I'm just going to cut that from there. Uh, and instead of putting it outside of any sub, okay, I'm going to put it inside of this sub here. So I'm going to put another line in, paste that in there. So as you can see, inside of the button one click, we have we're, we're now declaring the variable inside of this sub. Uh, and if you notice here, I've actually got an error for the button two. Uh, this is because if you declare a variable inside of a sub, it uh, it's only in effect for that sub. Uh, it can't be, it cannot be called from within anything else apart from between where the sub starts and where the sub ends. Uh, so that's why this is returning an error because uh, you can't call it uh, from a separate sub. So I'm just going to comment that out. So actually no, I'm not. I'm going to uh, is equal to uh, no. I'm going to comment that out so it uh, it doesn't do it and. Uh, I'll just show you that it does exactly the same but that this won't accept it because it can't be found so uh, as you can see there were build errors because it, it it's referring to something which doesn't exist or it's something which can't be seen by it basically um, and that's that's just something you've got to remember with, when uh, when using variables um, is that if you want to use them in more than one sub you need to publicly declare them which means putting it outside of any um, private sub boxes uh, within your program. Um, so yeah, that's that's all right. Um, I was also going to go through message boxes. I think um, so. If we yeah, I'll use button two. Um, if we said uh, type in message box. Uh, now th there's two calls for message box. You can type in message box. Uh, message box. Uh, dot show and then open brackets and as you can see here it actually gives us a hint it says text and string so you can then you know you can put in whatever you want and that will display that in a message box uh, whenever the button is clicked uh, you can also declare a very uh, not declare you can also use variables within this so instead of text as string you can put well no it is text as string uh, because as you can see we've got the variable as a string so if we then type in variable one and then close brackets uh, this should output hello world but in a text box as you can see uh, so that's another use for variables um, also something you can do with message box dot show is you can remove the last bracket uh, and if you click on this arrow here you can actually see that there are more options here uh, so as you, uh, text as string is highlighted so if we then stick in a comma you can see caption as string is now highlighted so you can call it whatever you want you can call it um, I don't know this is a test and then close the brackets click on run button 2 and you can see that it's actually set a title to this message box uh, that that's actually quite useful um, in <clears throat> when uh, you know when, when you're doing a program you want to tell the user what uh, what the problem is or, or whatever uh, whatever your use for it is uh, there are also other options um, as you can see, if we scroll down here, caption a string. Um, there, there are various sort of other things you can you can use. You can set it as a button. So let's hold on. Let's oh no, let's put variable one as the title, and then stick another comma in there. And let's try and get a button here. Uh, I can't remember how buttons are used. Wait, what's the thing for button? Is it VB button? VB button? No. Oh dear. I can't remember. Uh, button maybe? B U T T. No. Damn. That's irritating. But you can set the um, the type of buttons to 
um, whatever you want also so you know the default one is just uh, okay you can set it to uh, yes no or cancel or um, I can't actually remember the rest of them uh, sorry there goes my phone I'm gonna ignore that because I'm in a desperate hunt for the buttons message box there ah, that's it so yeah here you go you see we've got um, message box buttons abort retry and ignore okay okay cancel retry cancel yes no yes no cancel uh, so if you actually if you just you know highlight one of them press select uh, you'll see that it, it's now got three things so the first one is going to be the string what it's going to output second one's going to be the title and the third one's going to be the button type so if you now click run press that one you know got hello world okay and cancel um, so that's just something you can uh, you can you know go with and maybe use uh, in your own programming um, there is another way to use a message box and that's by typing in msg and as you can see it's got message box msg box um, this is pretty much just a, a simpler or a quicker version of, of just typing exactly the same uh, it has less sort of fiddly options uh, and it's just generally quicker than typing message box dot show. Um, so yeah, there goes my phone again. Um, I'm gonna go and cancel that because I'm gonna hit someone otherwise. Okay, uh, please excuse the uh, various irritating members of my family wishing to be picked up and driven home. Uh, where was I? I was talking about message boxes. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, this is a basically a, just a, a shorthand method of just uh, typing a message box. Um, a useful thing for message uh, to, sorry to uh, to use message boxes for is if you're uh, if you just want to check what a variable is outputting or you know whatever um, <clears throat> it, it it'll give you sort of the just a, a quick reference as to as to what's going on um, I I think that's pretty much it actually twelve minute video isn't too bad uh, I w I'm going to try and keep this series fairly short sort of. Uh, and yeah, I don't really think there's much more I can say about variables. Uh, I'll, actually, I'll just do a um, a quick integer variable. So let's dim um, number variable as integer. Integer. There you go. Uh, and I'm actually I'm going to set this equal to seven. Uh, so let's just set my text box. Box one dot text is equal to uh, variable. No, wait a second. What's it called again? Number variable. Number. Number variable. Uh, and I'll just show you that that outputs numbers. So display text one is a string, and number two is an integer. That's a pretty weird font actually. Um, yeah, you can also you can add integers. So um, number variable is equal to number variable plus two so this should be nine now uh, now you've got to refer to it again because you, you're basically now setting number variable equal to the old value plus two uh, so you actually you've got to type it type it twice and the best thing to uh, to sort of get that into your head is to actually go out and do it so uh, as you can see it now it puts nine um, that is actually the end of it now. I'm going to call it there. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, check out the rest of the series. I guess uh, link should be in about 20 seconds time, uh, and thanks for watching.